All right, it's day two. We are back about 20 minutes early uh, before the sale. So we're gonna walk on over uh, to the line and uh, get ourselves ready to get in there on the first wave. Scarves? Yeah. I don't need I know, I'm just showing. You don't need, well, you just want me to grab these and put yeah. them in here? Yeah, I don't All right. Here we go. Good? Yeah. All right. So you're getting this table. Yeah. How much? Four bucks for the table? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. All right. Thanks. All right, this is Mrs. Primetime find right here. Look, there's more of them here. Okay, let me check this box out. Oh, sweet. Yeah, they're all there. Cool. Alright, 
Santa pillow to go with the Santa figures. Perfect. What, what'd you get? Oh, cool, pectoral soap. That's neat. This would be a nice combo, sell both of these together. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Mrs. Primetime doesn't walk back in. <laughs> June, July. So I have not researched David yet, but if you have any information on the art piece or the artist, let me know in the comments section. Thanks. This is for oh, mine. <laughs> Sorry. People always try to grab stuff out of my boxes, so I always have to keep an eye out on them. So, here we go. It's a nice lot that we get. Always look for things that are similar. So, uh, that gives you an indication that there's um, a nice lot that's available for you. In fact, we've got, let's see. Uh, two, three, four, five, and six. So, too bad book number one isn't here. So, see, this is another good example. Three Rivers Cookbook. One, two, and three. So, these sell really well. You get like 35, 40 bucks out of them. This is the room I've been in, by the way, so I've been picking things off of this bookshelf. Uh, there's my two boxes right now. There's some more books over here to look at. Uh, there's just lots of stuff. It's a pretty big house. I love these old houses because, and they might look small on the outside, but 
once you get inside, there's just so many rooms to explore and we haven't even hit the basement yet. So we'll be going there soon. Stuff here. Oh darn it, this stuff you can't get. Oh, someone bought it already. All that stuff. Not that I would have gotten all of this hardware, but the cost on it was 75 bucks for the whole thing. So definitely cool though. Including the the cases and everything. These are neat. So Definitely old school. There you go. All right, so you said all this stuff is still available, right? All that stuff, yeah. So okay. everything just except these little trays. Yeah. All right. Whatever you want. Hold yeah. up. These are kind of like mystery boxes. You don't know what's inside yeah. of them yeah, until yeah. you open them up. Well, I'll tell you so, what, some guy found. Uh, you know, sometimes I peek around stuff before the sale. Yeah. Gentlemen, we usually have like you know old school locks and yeah. stuff. This guy oh, yeah. in the box. Yeah. With like old school railroad. Yeah. You know, the name engraved on it and stuff. Yeah, Remember? that's cool. Yeah. The he's like, geez, we just want to look at every box. Yeah. 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 You never know what you're gonna find. Yeah, that's the beauty part about it. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes with these things, people will just buy these just for the containers. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw like, them little, and these, I saw them little containers, all, you know, a couple yeah. buck here, a couple bucks there. Yeah. I like the little container, little glass tubes with the corks in them and stuff, the little yeah. weird knickknack shit is. Yeah, and it nice, gives a nice vintage look too for like Yeah, your, yeah, for putting stuff in there, whatever you got. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like the weird odd stuff. Yeah, me too. It seems to be like, you know, that. Yeah. I guess you say, you know, every time, at the time I like the weird odd stuff, it's the expensive stuff. Yeah, yeah, I but get it. Yeah. So he's already starting to take that out for the customer. But see, the reason why this is good to look at is because this is down below. So a lot of people aren't going to go down low. And a lot of these, these are unmarked. So, um, you know, people just ignore them. But like, you know, some of them are marked. Like this one, door catches, knobs, draw poles. Pretty neat. So, wow, this one says 720 pieces in it, which is a lot. We've got some old, see this, which you got old doorknob, doorknob yeah. poles in here. Old locks. Yeah. A lot of stuff in here. Some are decorative. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, the hardware, yeah. That's cool. Want to get a little old school look? Yeah. Definitely neat. You know what I'm noticing he did? He put a sample of the nail that's in the box on the outside. You see that? Yeah. So, so like this one here. You'll never know, yeah. right? Yeah, you yeah, never know check. until you look. You yeah. do have to check, yeah. So I'm gonna stay away from loose nails. All right, so all that's loose. Um, but this one here, this is vintage Sears in the box. So stuff like that is good. So I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, and it could be even harder finding them in these little paper packages because yeah, get those get, mouse. yeah, yeah, compared to the harder cardboard boxes. So, yeah, it's a whole box of those. New old stock. There we go. There you go. Got in here. Oh, cool. Sealed and packaged vintage turn screws. A bunch of them here. Knobs and stuff. 
Yeah. Sweet. Uh, I'm big into the gas and oil stuff, uh, tobacco stuff, anything like food related is good. So, oh look at us, more of these plastic tubes and boxes. Atlas, that's a good company. They made a lot of good old hardware. Copper plated wire cloth staples, pretty neat. Two boxes of that in there too. I guess I gotta make sure I look on the floor because I didn't even realize this was down here. And I opened it up and I saw more of these vintage Jurgens turnkeys. Oh, look at this. Sweet, more knobs. Oh wow, these will lot up real nicely. Wow, you're getting there. <laughs> so just to remind everyone to prevent yourself from getting overwhelmed in a situation like this, uh, you just gotta go one by one, that's it. And a lot of people walk away because they just don't take that approach. And so, you know, just systematically go through them in a certain direction, put what you want here, and keep what you're gonna leave right there. All right, so here we go. This is everything in both of these boxes. And the total price of everything came to $30. So uh, I'm very happy with how we did today. Uh, it's gonna sell very well. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering, uh, this is not something I got at the sale. This is my money towel. I always carry this around with me uh, in the car. I've done so for over 20 years. Uh, a towel in general is the most valuable thing you could carry around with you because of the many uses that it has. There's so many things you could do with it. Uh, if you want to know more, read the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. All right, so we're back here at Primetime Treasure Headquarters and just looking at some of the stuff that Mrs. Primetime picked up. And as you could see, she was very busy getting a large lot of jewelry. Uh, so there's about 60 pieces here and what she is the most excited about and is definitely something to look for when you're out sourcing jewelry is that uh, there's a bunch of pieces here that are Joan Rivers and Joan Rivers uh, jewelry pieces, whether they are brooches or if they are uh, necklaces, they do sell for a lot of money. I mean, there's some Joan Rivers pieces that will sell for uh, over a hundred dollars, uh, you know, 65, 75, uh, and you'll typically uh, see it marked right up here. Uh, it'll say Joan Rivers on it. So uh, you just gotta, you know, be on the lookout for that. Uh, you might wanna uh, carry like a little uh, loop with you. This is one we have at home, but you could carry one around with you if you have some vision issues, or you could just use your phone to kind of zoom in on things. But uh, so many different things. Uh, lots of uh, animal jewelry pieces as well, which is another thing that we like to look for. Speaking of animals, hey, what's going on, Daisy? What do you think of that big purchase? Yeah, I got some good stuff. How much did all this cost? How much did all this cost? You think we did okay? Let's take a look. So the total for uh, all this, plus this picture, and uh, they had a lot of stuff from England in that house, and so this is a company named John uh, Maddock and Son. So there was an eight and a quarter inch pitcher that sold for $50 uh, with the best offer accepted plus $13 shipping. This one is 11 inches. So she got that. Uh, these two things uh, she had picked out and that came as part of my bundle. This was part of my bundle as well, but Mrs. Primetime was showing me that a lot of these are Oscar de la Rente. So uh, we've got a lot of um, fashion based um, decorative scarves. I mean, there's lots of name brand ones. Uh, look like most of them are silk. So it's really cool. Uh, and then we've got that uh, desk that's outside. I got to show you that. Uh, but the total for everything uh, came to, this is Mrs. Primetime stuff, and that does not include the scarf. So it's the jewelry and it's the picture and it's the desk. Uh, came to $98, as you can see here. So uh, that total does include tax, and normally we don't pay tax because we are tax exempt from the business, but she just didn't mention it, so next time she will. So um, let's go show you the desk. 
I know, I know, Oscar de la Renta, not Oscar de la Rente. Anyway, let me show you the desk. All right, so this is what it looks like when you take all those Christmas decorations and stuff off of it. I mean, this thing is solid, solid. Uh, it's incredible, so uh, we should be able to sell this for a nice price. I don't even really think you need to do much to it. Uh, $4 originally, I mean, that's just an amazing price. Uh, show you the back of it too. There's a the back there, so I just turned it around for you. So uh, really good overall. I thought Mrs. Primetime uh, did great with her lot. Well, I hope you had fun on another exciting estate sale treasure hunt. Let me know down below what your favorite overall find was. For me, I'm still blown away by Mrs. Primetime's three boxes of vintage microscope slides. I'm still checking them out. And uh, one that I just pulled out to look at, check this one out. It's the leg of a honeybee. So there's so many uh, cool things there uh, to explore. And uh, I just have it a blast with all this stuff. So uh, before you go, make sure you check out the eBay store of my friend and colleague in YouTube and in reselling, Troy from Mountain Man Treasures. Uh, he's such a great guy. And if you love pop culture stuff like I do, you got to check out his store. There's about 1,500 items there. I've bought a lot of things from him over the years. In fact, uh, just look it up here. Uh, this is one of my favorite things that I bought from him. I have a thing for green monsters and stuff. So uh, I love this uh, Soren action figure with the club and everything. It's awesome. So uh, yeah, the link's down below. Uh, check them out. Oh, and how could I forget? Don't forget to check out Troy's YouTube channel as well. It's also awesome. If you're interested in getting featured in one of these videos, make sure you check out the link for membership and check out all the awesome perks available. See you at the next one, everyone. Take care. Wait, wait. Hey, Daisy, guard the treasures. Good job.